So Teresa, with COVID-19 being part of our life for the last one month now, what tips you have in terms of practical tips to be in a good place emotionally and behaviorally, what people can do in your opinion? You know, anytime we have crisis, mm -hmm. what generally ends up hap happening is stress levels go up. And that's a very natural response to crisis is stress. And we can think of this, not just COVID-19. We can think of this in like when change happens, when someone gets sick, these are crises that occur. We lose our job, crises that occur. So we'll go physiologically sort of go through the same process each time. So stress elevates, which fires up our amygdala, that old part of our brain that gets into reactive mode, which is fight, flight, freeze. And this amps up our cortisol levels in our body. And that elevates our emotional state. So when our emotional state is elevated, it's very difficult to access the logical part of our brain. And the logical part of our brain is where everything that is EQ related that we want to use lives, like empathy, assertiveness, problem solving. Mm -hmm. It all lives up there. And so we begin to behave really poorly, irrationally, illogically. Like, for example, stocking up on toilet paper. If we can bring just a little humor <laughs> yeah. to this question, does your survival depend on toilet paper? Like, logically. I didn't understand that part when people were crazy, like, why you need that much? I didn't know. I didn't, right. I didn't know. <laughs> right. Logically, it makes no sense. Yes. It's irrational. So we can trace even that sort of outward behavior back to, oh, their stress level in crisis was so high, mm -hmm. they weren't capable of accessing that logical part of their brain to make a rational choice. So the things that we can start doing is, well, we have to relax the amygdala. We need the natural antidote to cortisol, which is oxytocin. So both things live within our body, which is amazing. We can cure ourselves. Gratitude, acts of kindness, self-compassion, all provide oxytocin. So to reduce stress, we have to amp up those three things. Practice gratitude. We can do this mm. as a solo activity with a gratitude journal. We can do it as a group activity with our family around the dinner table. What are you grateful for today? Acts of kindness, they're very simple. If we're still allowed and can go outside on garbage recycling day, we can bring people's garbage cans and recycle bins back up to their home. We can um, send pen and paper notes in the mail to our loved ones. Like it, it becomes actually very easy to sort of amp up our oxytocin. We also need to have exceptional hygiene around three pillars of stress management, sleep, exercise, nutrition. I, I mean, if you want to feel good in your body, you, you have to have really good hygiene around those things. And so once we begin to manage our stress, emotionally, we become more stable. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, when we're stable, we can start logically taking a look at what's really going on. So what's within my control? What can I do that would be positive about the situation? And how do I want to go about doing those things that comes from my center of goodness? Mm. That's a good, those are great tips, Teresa. I really appreciate sharing that and putting it there on those three pillars. I would say I'm good in the sleeping, nutrition, okay, the, the gym, uh, no, exercise, but I'm trying at least I'm, I go every day, you know, for a walk one hour just to exercise. But I want more because I feel that when I'm walking, I feel that my body needs more. And sometimes I run and then sometimes I just walk and sometimes I bike. Yes. But I think that those are important, especially nowadays with the stress level and, you know, anxiety. We need to take mm -hmm. care of our body mentally, emotionally, as you've mentioned. Thank you for yeah. that. And for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in how to handle our emotional or behaviors, please leave it in a comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Teresa.